Thank you for watching candlestick trading video. Provac and breakout. There are only two ways of trading price action on the provac uh, on the breakout. Breakouts are uh, easier to identify the bar is higher or lower uh, than the previous bar. The breakout signifies that the momentum is with the overall trend, provided we have a system in place to avoid a fake out. This offers a good to excellent chance of success. Breakouts should only be traded in an established trend. One way to do this is to look at a higher time frame. If this is a heading uh, in the same direction as the time frame traders are trading, then traders have a better chance of success than if it is trending in the opposite direction. Sometimes after a breakout price can uh, retrace a little, uh, traders should be able to establish how much it is likely to do so by looking at past price action. For this reason, traders need a larger stop loss to accommodate the possible movement. To some, the larger stop loss can be seen as a daunting and a disadvantage. However, this needs to be weighed uh, up against the advantage of trading with all our price momentum. Uh, the other way to trade price action is to trade a pullback. Uh, traders need an established trend so you can identify how deep the pullbacks are likely to be. The most difficult part of trading pullbacks is getting the reversal point right. Stops typically tend to be closer on pullback strategies to protect the capital. There is not much flexibility here. Of course, uh, the upside is that if traders can get it right, traders gain a few extra point pips on each entry over the high hover trend. These can add up to a substantial sum. Trading pullbacks is generally more time consuming. Traders have to anticipate the reversal point far more accurately. Until the next bar is formed, traders do not know uh, if they were right or wrong. Thank you.